welcome back so i'm gonna do a quick review of this kit just recently released it took well it released a couple of months ago it took forever to get here i ordered like six weeks ago and it got suddenly so got lost in the mail or what happened but it's the icm mig 25 bm version which is in semi second scale um there's several different flavors of this kit um mostly in the kind of the, the typical kind of grays kind of colors what caught my eye with this one is this isn't a nice kind of a new camouflage pattern which is a little bit different um kind of catches the eye this is a big aircraft in real life so in 70 second scale it's not going to be tiny it's going to be about the size probably of a normal 48 scale kind of jet um i imagine so i'm not opening the box yet we're opening it together what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna switch the camera and we will take a look inside it okay here it is um full disclaimer guys i did open a little bit up um i don't want to be spending an hour on youtube trying to open a box so icm are pretty much same mo so they have a box inside a box mm -hmm. so this kind of cover comes off and then you have a box inside it so um it, it kind of a little bit of struggle to get open so i just took this off and kind of opened up a little bit to kind of for the video so here we go so we open it up we've got the instructions a nice big bag of plastic huh, that's pretty cool um plus we've got two sets of two little mini kind of things of decals we'll look at in a minute but in the bottom here we have this guy, just a bit of cardboard, but it's um, a really nice kind of base. So, I mean, if you're using like a trumpeter case, like I've been using, or like some kind of display piece, and just put this down, um, you know, glue it down and put your aircraft on top of it, or even just for taking photographs. So it's not, not normally you get this kind of stuff in there. It does have ICM Plus all over it in um, sponsorship and advertising, I guess. So I guess you could always cut that bit off to make it a little bit more realistic if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little touch. So I've not seen that before. So that's the first one, so base. Okay, so going back out in order a little bit. Um, sorry, I got a little bit of photo etch leftovers here on the bench. Um, let's just look at the, the decals where I have them in my hand. They are really nice. Um, they're super tiny too. You'll see 70 second scale. Um, I think there are words. I mean, my eyesight isn't good enough to read it. Um, but that's the stencil data. And then here's the typical Russian stars, numbers. Again, really nice. It looks like these are maybe some instrument panel stuff. Okay, let's bust open the instructions and I'm gonna look at the plastic. As always, I'm gonna go through you know pretty quick. If you guys want to see it more, just just pause the video. So as always, we start with sprue stuff, the trees, um, and what contents. And we start firstly, oh, actually, rarely, we don't start with a cockpit. Normally, 99% of the time you do aircraft builds, you always kind of start with the, uh, sorry, noise, the camera's kind of, oh, ratcheting. You always start with the um, the cockpit. So here it looks like we're starting with maybe, it's like gear. I'm sure exactly where, it, yeah, it's like we're working on landing gear and wheelbase. So you might, typically I do I do landing gear last and I stick it on because it always breaks off, but this you might have to follow through the build. It looks like you have to put this in first, um, part of the assembly. Then we're into the cockpit. It's a uh, one-seater. Yeah, sorry, it looks like two seats there, but it's, it's one seat in this variant. Um, so a lot of the Russian jets have seats side by side. That's like the SU-34. That's kind of what threw me off a little bit there. I support those two seats. Um, then go on the intakes. This part of the main wheel wells and the exhaust nozzles. More gear, so it looks like you have to put the nose gear in and then it looks like you can have this later, the, um, the main gear. And sorry, let's go back to, that's a lot of parts. This is 70 second scale, remember, so that's a lot of parts going into the gear, a lot of detail. Um, the buckets, then building the fuselage. Horizontal, the um, vertical stabilizers or tail fins. The wings. These guys have kind of short, stubby wings. And the typical Russian, like a beast of a plane. Huge nose. Nose looks like it comes to two parts, so you can make the seams to contend with. And a lot of um, initially, there's a lot of panel lines and stuff, so you might do a little bit of prescribing, possibly. Um, then looks like we're adding on the doors. The wheels, looks like wheels are two parts. I'm not a big fan of two part wheels, but it is what it is. Um, ordnance, this beast, and carry the beast of ordnance. I think this is a large fuel tank, center fuel tank, which is an option you could put on if you wish. And the glass work. It doesn't 
doesn't really show you much in this one. I guess a finished model. Um, a lot of stencils, as we saw earlier. And then this is what caught my eye with this particular kit. This scheme, it's just the um, Combat and Conversion Training Center. It's just interesting. Um, it might be hard to kind of pull that off, though. Um, I guess you couldn't really mask it. It's more like a freehand kind of camo. But it just looks very you know, interesting compared to the usual gray, which is on here, the, the iconic kind of... Wait, was this MiG-25, isn't it? Yeah, I get confused between MiG-31 and 25. They're very similar looking. This is 25. I might have said 31 earlier in the interview. If I did, I apologize. It obviously is a 25. Um, and that's the usual typical Russian kind of gray color. So that's the instructions. So let's look at the plastic um, real quick. Sorry about that. The camera's kind of um, a little loose on the stand there. It's kind of wafting about. So I should have fixed it. So um, now let's open this big bag of plastic up. Um, tons of plastic in terms of numbered sprues and stuff. But one bag. I'm um, just trying to find my way in. This way. Oh, looks like I've got a few broken bits in the way too. So a couple of doors are broken. Make sure I don't lose those. Um, clear parts. These right now while I have them in my hands. Pretty good for semi-second scale. I mean, really nice. And you see the um, it's frosted, so you just mask these little pieces off here, and that's that'd be part of the paint work um, over these. Um, so that's, there's a couple of lights. I think well, these might be ends of like missiles and stuff. A couple of lights, maybe. Nice clear canopies. Bag, so I have to get it, lose it, and break it. Okay, and then some plastic. So first brew. Again, the ICM plastic's really nice. Um, great detail. ICM, you know, is a great manufacturer. They certainly come on strides. They're doing a great job on stuff recently, especially the Russian stuff. Um, this is made with real detail. Again, this is seventy-second scale with like forty-eight or thirty-second scale detail. Um, it's not again. It's not a tiny aircraft. It's semi-second scale, but this is the main part of. You see how big this is. This is just. This is. This is maybe just the, the um, spine on the back. You still have the front fuselage, the buckets, and the nose, and everything. And this alone is like six inches long. Um, it's like this is the front part of the fuselage. This is a giant fuel tank. Again, great detail. I hope you can kind of pick this up on the camera. Some of this rivet detail. There you go. Really nice detail. Um, second sprue. Tails. Again, as all the Russians love the rivets. Nice and detail. These look amazing once you get the wash on it. These are the sides of the fuselage. A little bit modular, this kit. Um, there's so many different versions of the MiG for 25, um, but it should go, go together pretty good. Um, the wheels look really nice. These are the nose wheels. Well, this one right here, sorry, nose wheel. Set some flaps. So, let's jump ahead a little bit. So, it looks like maybe you can have the flaps down. I can't remember from the instructions. Actually, I don't know what flaps. Are there flaps? Maybe that's part of the tail, the rudder. And the sprue, a lot of little pieces. Um, doors wheels and two pot wheels <laughs> these wheels are huge again this is semi-second scale and i'm looking over here like i built recently built a tornado and a f-14 and the wheels are like the size of the center ones let alone this this is a huge aircraft so semi-second scale um nice to detail wheels um shame about the two parts but you know, again great detail not weighted um maybe no just pure round and not weighted wheels okay and some weapons. I think these are match pair. Yep. So two sprues of this. Pieces broken off. Nose. As you know, these guys have huge noses on the uh, MiG 25s. Nose alone is three inches long. That's again a 70 second scale. A um, couple of pylons. Yeah, really nice crisp detail. Brew. And finally, the wings. Yeah, really nice details. Your upper and lower. Um, really 
really nice detail on there. And that is it. So not too much in the kit, but um, looks great, um, really crisp. Let me switch the camera back and we'll um, talk about kind of some of the kit, kip up, kit, kip up, kits up, and then we'll kind of wrap things up. So hang on, let me switch the camera back. So there you go. So um, looks a really nice kit. Um, a couple of things, um, which is small, but the little cardboard kind of base thing is kind of a nice little feature. Um, the plastic, as always with ICM, the modern stuff is fantastic. The detail is really nice. A um, little bit concerned about the modularity of it. it hopefully it goes together pretty good. Um, if not, it could be a little bit of a nightmare with some rescribing, um, especially in 72nd scale. Um, like the two-piece nose, for example, the way it's done, um, I'm just hoping that thing goes together pretty nicely. Um, if you have to stop using filler and stuff, it's quite well, tricky to get that rescribed. Um, but again, I'm sure it goes together great. Um, lovely detail, as I just mentioned, um, the river detail. And being Russian and kind of the Cold War, you really go to town with that thing, wherever the hell out of it. So um, all those river details, the panel wash and some oils and stuff, it's going to look fantastic once it's done. Um, do like the look of the camo version is why I bought this kit, but a little apprehensive. It looks kind of tricky scheme to do. Um, I guess if you got kind of messy airbrushing freehand, you could probably nail it. But um, I'm more of a splinter kind of straight line kind of guy um, and using masks and stuff. That does scare me a little bit, so I might be tempted to just go with a gray one. But we'll see how we go when I get to it. Um, but again, this is a really good ICM MiG-25 BM. It just recently out about two months ago. There's about five or six different flavors of this kit. So there's different versions, two seaters and different variants and stuff. Um, so go knock yourself out. So if you're a Russian fan or 72nd scale, definitely looks like a great kit. Um, not too expensive either, being 72nd, I think it's like £25, $30 kind of price range. Um, but that's, that's it. So um, as always, appreciate you watching. Um, hope you found this video useful. Um, check out my other videos, especially my modeling updates. Um, every couple of weeks or so, I put a video up um, kind of showing what I purchased and what I've been up to, show some of my completed builds, my work in progress, that kind of stuff. Um, check those out. Um, I know typically, most of my reviews kind of get most most views, um, like the inbox kind of lookings and stuff is most popular. But um, check out my other videos. Um, any questions, put them in the comments below. I respond to everybody. Um, and I appreciate all the pos positivity too. I get some really nice comments from some people. Um, really keeps the mojo going and helps me make these videos. Um, there's a lot of knuckleheads out there, but uh, you know, sending me those people, you know, you know who you are. You send me nice messages every time and stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks. Um, so happy modeling. Take care. And until next time, see you later. Bye.